Sports, it's in the game. We are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Straight ahead, oh, yo, we got a pretty good one on tap here. In, 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 as bad. it'll be the yeah. New Orleans Saints taking on the L.A. Chargers. 
Oh well, I don't know what it is. Smash that like but... Twenty-two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway in Southern California. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. side of midfield before going out of bounds 25 yards that time but one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play never lock in on any one guy make sure you keep your eyes moving scan the field and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup now on first down. And that's Alave bringing in another one. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 45-yard line. From the gun, it's Carr. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. That sack by Khalil Mack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking for Alvin Kamara on the slam. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. the 30 to the 25 yard line that one good for 17 yards on fourth couldn't ask for much more from your offense there first down and that's a big pickup of a first down and you know that all week both sides of the ball offense and defense are going through every situation and in this case the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively you work on fourth down situations as well and deflating for the defense they can't get the stop here Car now on first down. Again, it's Johnson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Car to throw again. And that is incomplete. Well, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Here's Carr. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Two 
Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Looking for Thomas. Seven to nothing lead. That is one. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They started on the ground with Eckler, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now it's Herbert. Going down the middle, and it's complete. That's good. Through the middle of the field, and Charger touchdown. Xander Horvath, 74 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And Kamara's going to have a Saints first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Throwing on first down is Carr. And now look at this. Big game by the fumble. Oh, yes. Picked up by the Chargers. The and his crew will take over with a football wow. at the 35-yard line.
The Charger drive about to get going. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. What the fuck? Bro, come on. Still going. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, LA. Austin Eckler. 65 yards. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Herbert changing things up. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 14 to 7. <laughs> Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. Man, he's just fucking laughing. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Last time out, they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Kamara up the middle. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Back-to-back wow. -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Card out of throw. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. On first down, Carr. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. <laughs> Throwing on second and long. Carr. He lets it go deep for Alave. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Mm. They set themselves behind the chains, tried to get it all back in one play, and it backfired. Didn't it feel like a pitcher working his way into a 3-0 count, right? You're behind. What do your coaches always tell you? Get it back one pitch at a time. In this case, they tried to get it back right away, and it didn't work out. The Charger drive about to get going. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven.
from the 25. Here's second and six. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. But a charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. Now back to throw. Flush to his right. He's got a man complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It'll go as a gain of 33. And that play started back at their own 33. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Herbert going to shift his guys around. Running on first down, Eckler. That's a room to maneuver. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Boston Eckler with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers have taken a two touchdown lead now. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now 21 to 7. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. <laughs> Taken at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Brings him up second and ten. Back to throw. He lets it go deep for Olave. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Throwing his car on third down. They'll roll him out right. Oh, everything falling apart now. And now intercepted. Picked up by Michael Davis. Bro, how does that fucking help to fucking stop me from seeing what the fuck the letters are, though? Like, that's, that doesn't make sense at all. Really fucking does it. I'm the one who's down. You already fucking up his ratings and all that shit because he got the momentum. God damn. I'm gonna fucking stop you from fucking seeing your fucking receivers. That's horrible. Not only do I gotta deal with the fact that they got OPS teams that ain't really proved that they fucking good teams, but that's fucking horrible, man. I gotta go up against these OP motherfuckers. 
The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And they are not going to let him turn the corner. Some serious pressure right out of the gate. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction. And that leads us to second and 15. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. You can bet they're not going to go away from the running game anytime soon, but this is obviously not a good start. Two carries, two runs, both stop for a loss. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Here's Purdy. Come on, bro. What? They certainly thought he had a window to push Bruh. the downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. And taken right at the 35. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They start the drive on the ground. Camara. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and nine. To throw his car. Pitch and catch to Moreau, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. On first and 10, here's Carr. And he'll get this one underneath to Camara. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Carr. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. 
He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Now, Carr again. And he'll find the row here. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 17-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Oh. They were so close, that close to their first points in the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Carl try it again on second down. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down, in particular not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them able to pick up those first downs. Now here we are, first and goal. They've got to like what they're doing on this drive. They fake the handoff. Now call. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Here's Carr to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And the stop will come inside the 5 at the 4. Carr now on third and goal. sideline from the head coach don't you because he's turned into his bench and he's telling his team this is how we prepare force the punt go downfield and score i told you guys it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight now we get to turn it all loose lutz good on the extra point and it's now a seven nothing game after one seven nothing on ea sports that's the points on the board we just got to try to hold on Capitalize because the team ain't gonna start playing unless I can't max out that meter. If I can max it out, then we're gonna start playing. Until then, I'm at the fucking mercy of man. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7 0 is the score. As they... That's into a crowd and intercepted. Jonathan. <laughs> on the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line.
Now after the INT, it's Carr. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Come on. He just made a one possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Bruh. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Carr. And that falls to Bro, the ground complete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, gonna be a good chance at any attempt is gonna be a contested one. And that one falls incomplete. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Carr. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Williams is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Did your high school have that same push them back, push them back cheer? I was a kicker. Well, it's, it was certainly worked. Didn't matter whether we were kickers or not. That one worked, didn't it? They pushed him back at his last snap of the ball, and boy, they created a nice play for themselves. Would they lose three on that one? Yeah, from the one back to the four. Camara is into the <laughs> But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Trying to make this happen. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. <laughs> And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Come on, big dog. You got the 49ers. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Broke a tackle, but not much room there. Just up past the 25, no further. 
On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. Okay, so here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. Oh, look at this play call. And he is going absolutely nowhere in the run. <laughs> decision to go for it doesn't pay. Possession's gonna go on. It's amazing when you see Demario in true form because that's really him right there. That's really him right there. Now a first down carry. It's Camara. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A gain of three, second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing now his car. Now oh, he tries to force it in. Mm -hmm. It's intercepted. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48 yard line. What? That's crazy. First down, this is McCaffrey. And the running lane's non existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It was Cameron Jordan who came in and got him. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Purdy now to throw off the play action. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be third down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. The 49ers moving hastily. They're scurrying to the line. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. It's gonna be batted down. Good stop. Good stop, fellas. Good stop, fellas. But sometimes those coaches can just sense their team. Maybe they're a little flat or they need a little extra inspiration. He decided to go for it there to try and kickstart things. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. First down. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. And the 49ers are going to have it here at their own 32 yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. Mm, I think we'll find out just how way, much they bro. Got Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel in the final 
seconds of the first half. And the 49ers are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. Moody good Bro, that shit took forever. Nobody got to him on the blitz. That shit was bonkers. She's stealing. Seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. What the fuck? So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. But now a throw on first down there. What but is up with these fucking the animations? He wide open for days. But I can't fucking react connect, to the fucking ball. We'll what the, the fuck, son? Car to throw on second down. Got a man. Almost made him drop that shit. Found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Lutz with the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7. Mom. Yeah. Hey, can you tell your mom to bring me some ice? Send me up a, a cup of ice, please, and thank you. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Now on first down, it's Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go play action here, Purdy. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Credit the secondary, credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big time receiver. A second down throw for Purdy. 
Come on, bro. How much shit you gonna give him because he got the fucking Niners, bro? Give him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% I'm going for this catch and assessment. They ain't even supposed to fucking catch, but I can't catch the ones I'm supposed to catch. And Purdy, he's gonna shift him around into something else. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Purdy on fourth down. Bro, that's another one supposed to be picked. They ain't let me take. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down in the yard. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. For one deep left side. And he's going to the They just gave the last game to somebody, so I ain't messing around. I imagine the offense said to their defense, Thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, Three plays later, they're in the end zone. Did you see me? They've been trying to give you the game, too. And the lead down <laughs> three touchdowns at 21. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback... It has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Samuel bringing in the slant, and they'll get him down here at the 23. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. And now they're in the hurry up. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. He'll buy some time, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Alante Taylor able to run him down for a loss of a yard. Well, their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. 
Is it normal to call his number to run at the quarterback like that? Usually you're defending the pass, but he takes full advantage and dumps him to the turf. Purdy to throw it on first down. And that one to the right side and incomplete. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Purdy now on second down. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And this is a situation where as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. Purdy sets up to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Play action, now Purdy. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. Oh my deep no action, please time dude. will expire on this third quarter of play. It's crazy. The team don't start playing so you can max out the meter. Not a deep action play. That's insane to me. Thank you. Second and ten. Out of the gun, Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And down inside the 15 he goes. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Second down and three, ball on the seven. You see Purdy, he's going to shift him around. On play action, they'll throw. There you go, Tyron. But it's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. Let's go, Tyron. <laughs>
Untamed Gorilla. Magnolia Militia, Untamed Entertainment, you dig? Uptown, you heard? New Orleans. Magnolia. Broad check. You heard me? That's a the choice, man. You heard me? This is my favorite car. I love it. Peace. New Orleans, y'all know the N.O. Magnolia Militia. Untamed Entertainment. Untamed Uptown, you heard? New Orleans. Magnolia. Broad check. Peace. New Orleans, y'all know the N.O. Untamed Gorilla. Coming up, we got a good matchup on <laughs> Taking on the New Orleans Saints. I learned my lesson. I tried to go without the consumer, so I can actually use Zan and James Gibb Gip. I appreciate that, big dog. I appreciate that a thou wow. Get strapped in, it's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway from the Superdome. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Throwing on the first play from scrimmage. Here's Burrow. Mm -hmm. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he'll be taken down, but not wow. before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 22. Uh, oh, they let Mixon run away from Marshall like that, son. That's crazy. That's just crazy. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, Wonder. weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And he will find his man Chase complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Bro, what you doing over there, Latte? Joe Burrow with a touchdown connection Bro. to Tyler Boyd. And the Bengals are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. The and what an advantage the for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Saints up here first and 10 at their own 17 yard line. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. 
They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Car now on first down. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. No gain on the screen there at second down. From the gun, it's Carr. There's Chris Olave. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Throwing now is Carr. They'll get this out to Kamara. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Bengals 19. Into the red zone. It's Carr. Out of the backfield. That's complete to Camara. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. On second down, here's Carr. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. And here, you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Car to throw again. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. Only my team can't run away from fucking man coverage. Back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. What the fuck? CD, what a sensational start for this defense. Instead of just forcing the three and out, which they were about to do, they pick it off and take it in for the score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they didn't just settle for That's the standard bad. good way to yeah, start I mean, a game. Started they started in dramatic fashion. Take it away, score points, and guess what? They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and it's now 14 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid, and he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now Carr to try again after the pick six. It gets this complete to Shaheed. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 14 nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. To throw, it's Carr. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 
The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first down, Carr. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw again. And that'll be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Thomas. And no move to pull Carr and the offense off. They're going to go on fourth down. 29, They'll go for it. It's Carr. And they hit him as he throws. As this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Bengals will get the football back. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, mm. but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. 12, 12, 12. 11, In motion right goes Higgins. Stop. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. This time for Smith and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn. And the Saints are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now second and three. And Shahid going to go in motion. Car to throw on second down. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Throwing on first down is Carr. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Again, it's Carr. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Mm -hmm.
grab your dictionary partner, look up determination, and his picture is going to pop right up. How about him getting through multiple defenders, finding his way through coverage, and making sure he got to the end zone? That's a big time play right there. Lutz with the extra point, and that'll make our score. <laughs> turn here as he'll get this up to the 29. I'm wondering. The Bengals drive about to get going. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's... Tyler Boyd, he's going to go. He's to the 15. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 69 yards. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Mix it. What? We'll take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. This motherfucker's staying real, my boy. Come on, son. And McPherson on for the extra point. It's good. Ah. It is now 21 to 7. This boy's came in fucking steam room. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Car now on first down. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Just need a yard here, second and one. Here's Carr to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. On first and ten, here's Carr. He's gonna let it go deep for the end zone. Yeah, this is Man, come on, dog. That's a tight end on the DB. Right Fucking touchdown all day, gone. bro. Come on, stop giving him shit. Closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. Whoa. Oh, them dirty bitches. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Man, bro. Back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just oh, come on, son. Play results in no game. Now, Carr again. That is caught. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. Try to pound it in, Kamara. 
And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. To throw his car. drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Carr will look to throw. That's caught. And he is into the end zone. Good save. Good save. Six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Looking here for Smith downfield. Oh, and that is incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. Oh, some strong running. Oh, good looking. Come on, baby. Come on, man. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. On second down, Kamara. And Kamara's going to have a Saints first down as he'll get this up past the 40. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Now Carr throwing on second down. He lets it go deep for oh, I'll be motherfucked. And can't nobody get to it but his fucking man. Come on, bro. The fuck is up with this computer, bro? So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. 
And just think about the time Fuck AI the really that stupid? Can't nobody get to it but his man? Not the way they saw it, not the way they Come drew on, it bro. up. You I'll find do. out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Able to Man, yeah, come on, dog. All right. Man, I'm gone. Ain't gonna even try to stop him. Okay. All right. Gotcha. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Defensively, they were in the 3 4, and that O line just dominated the D line there. Let's go with the verbal telestrator here because that D line has a nose over the center. And it has the two defensive ends over the offensive tackles. That means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them. That creates a natural bubble inside where they sprint upfield, take on the inside linebackers. And if the back hits it fast enough, there should be space to run. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. throw looking for chase on the out route he's got him and he is brought down but not before reaching the 30 another big play as they get 28 out of that one so in Saints territory now here's first and 10 at the 30 yard line Burrow looking to pass open man downfield is chase he's got it and all the way for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, 30 yards. And the Bengals take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard it's to adjust because your first like move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off uh, to the corner. But then piece. as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. He's got it at the two. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never mm -hmm. retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last one. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. So yeah, they ain't already made their mind up. That shit was fucking unacceptable. Bro, fix the fucking way the quarterback throw the ball.